Happy New Year! Mark here, and I'm going to do part two of Who Printed the Castle Better? The Da Vinci Pro or the Prusa i3 Mark II. To give you a recap, the Da Vinci Pro was printed in red ABS, and the Prusa i3 Mark II was printed in gold PLA. The reason I printed these parts in different colors and materials was this was the materials provided by the 3D printer company when I originally bought the machine. So I assumed it would be the best material to do a comparison. Wow, was I wrong. I received a lot of comments about using different materials and different colors. So here are a few of my favorites. W. Donders wrote, Apples vs. Pears, PLA vs. ABS, Philbit Manufacturer A vs. B, Bowden vs. Direct Drive, so not a useful comparison at all. Thanks for the positive words of encouragement. Squeak 83 UK2 asks, what were the run times and settings on each, please? Even Joseph Proust himself wrote, hmm, download the new drivers with Slicer Proust Edition and reslice the models on the optimum settings. Prepare to be amazed. So with all these open-ended questions from you, my viewers, I feel as we need to do a rematch. And this rematch, we're going to put a lot of controls in place. The first control we're going to put in place is we're going to print the same color and the same material on both machines. That will be white PLA. White PLA is the most non-forgiving color to print in with 3D printers. White shows all details and all blemishes. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to update all the firmware and software to both machines. So for the Prusa, the firmware is 3.0.9. Slicer version is 1.31.6. The DaVinci Pro, the software is 1.1.12.8, and the software version is 1.3.2. I'm also going to use as much default settings um, as possible with both of the machines. Both parts we printed at 0.15 millimeter layer height, two shells, 15% infill, bottom will be three layers, top will be four, and here are the results. Here's my first comparison. On the left hand side is the Prusa, on the right hand side is the Pro. Both of these parts were printed at 215 degrees Celsius with the same material as well as print settings and you can clearly see the Prusa outshined the Pro in a lot of different areas. First area is some of these undercuts and the spires. We'll turn the parts up and you can see how smooth the part on the left is compared to the part on the right especially right here uh, and I have a theory about that we'll talk about in a sec but the Pro is no slouch it did a pretty good job at what I told it to do now because it is a Bowden style setup uh, we do have a lot more boogers in the back end because of the retraction rate the retraction rate the default retraction rate is six millimeters um, and I feel like that's pretty good I just don't think that the Pro can do some of this fine detail we're asking it to do but it did a pretty good job so this round goes to the Prusa uh, but I have some more interesting stuff I want to show you so because we're having a lot of print issues here I felt like it could be a temperature problem so because this machine does not have a part cooling fan PLA could get warm stay molten and have some print issues so I went back to the machine and I wanted to print a part off at their recommended print temperature of 190 degrees Celsius and here's the great result. What? Um, obviously the PLA that I have cannot print at 190 degrees Celsius uh, in the Pro machine. I started having a jamming issue in the extruder and it just stopped. But up to there, the part looks pretty good. So I decided to meet in the middle, and here's a 205 degrees Celsius print. And you can see it is a much better print. Bringing the temperature down reduced a lot of the issues we're having underneath the spire, but they are still there. And you can see it is a pretty good print. Um, I would still say the Prusa took this round, but uh, the Pro did a very good job. Now at the beginning, the Pro had a lot of bad rap about its print quality, but if you can do the comparison right now, it looks pretty good. With the default settings, the Pro did print the castle faster in 13 hours, 15 minutes, compared to the Prusa at 13 hours and 30 minutes. 
The next burn I want to compare is the old Prusa settings versus the new Prusa settings. In the previous video, we talked about how we had some issues here, as well as, let's try to find it. Oh yeah, and this spire back here, and some of this area is right here. And you can see they have all but vanished um, with the new print settings. So yes, Prusa, is, you're absolutely right with the new print settings. Um, all of the issues I talked about before with this print did get resolved. And the last comparison I want to do is the ABS versus the PLA again, but with the new optimized settings for the Prusa. So this is the best part uh, the Pro can print is in the ABS, and the best part I would say that the Prusa can print with the material I have, not being exotic, is the PLA. And here's a comparison. Both doing pretty well. So guys, if you like the video, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I feel like this was a pretty fair and controlled test. But like always, happy printing.